Yours. Blessings, blessings, blessings. It's Sean Marie of the Down to Earth Podcast. Tonight we have the Talk Puff Past event hosted by Stone Giants. We got a great comedian tonight. He's going to bless the stage with his presence. Could you tell the people your name? Yeah, I'm Dan Brennan and I'm going to be doing comedy at this show. Humbly, I'm going to tell you, I do not have no idea how well it's going to go. <laughs> you know? But uh, yeah, I do comedy here in Hamilton and uh, abroad and I feel like this has been a great year and 2024 is going to be an even better year uh, for live events so in general. About eight years. Uh, I'm 49 now. I was 41. You know, I just graduated high school and I thought, you know, I need a new hobby. You know, I'm not going to be able to. That's a joke about me being in high school for 20. Anyways, anyway. Uh, yeah, no, I, I did the first time <clears throat> when I was 41 and like, honestly, I didn't, I was given five minutes. I didn't even last the full five minutes, but I walked off the stage going, you idiot, this is what you should have been doing all along. So I've been hitting it hard since and uh, I feel like I'm, you know, if I just keep hitting it hard, the rewards will come, right? So what's yeah. the feedback you've been getting since you've been uh, Stop drinking so much. No, uh, that's, that's in my personal life. <laughs> I don't know, like comedy is kind of a funny thing. It's not like like being part of a sports team where like you're taking someone's spot. Like you 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 create your own spot, you know? And I feel like the big jump for me was actually getting one of my acts recorded uh, with video and then being able to send that to, to promoters, you know? Yeah, yeah. And I feel like that would be another big leap for me as well. Uh, not taking advantage of the, the technology but finding someone who understands it and paying them to, to, to do all that kind of stuff for me. Because uh, it's so time consuming, you know? Like you almost need to be two people these days to be in any art, you know? Because you've got to take care of that digital person as well, right? So, so what, what's your style, I would say? like um... I like, I don't know, I, I that's a tough one to say. I feel like I, I, I look at the room that I'm in and say, what do I think is going to make these people laugh? Do they, are they going to want to hear some dirty jokes? And you'd be surprised. <laughs> Everybody wants to hear dirty jokes. It's funny that way, like, you know what I mean? They could look the most button-down, poindexter type people you've ever met, and boom, they will laugh at some stuff. Uh, so I, I, what I love to do is to tell a tale, uh, to weave a big story, but I find what really, really, <clears throat> uh, what, what connects with people is uh, what I talk about, you know, my divorce, when I talk about my kids, when I talk about being caught by my parents smoking weed for the first time at the age of 35, you know, that kind of thing, you know? So, yeah, the stuff that people can relate to or they see in the news or reflects their own life, that that's the stuff that always kills, yeah, yeah. So respect, Cheers. can't wait Cheers. to see you on stage. Thank you very much. Tell the people where to connect with you. Uh, listen, uh, if you're, uh, you, I, I, Instagram, at Comedy Things Dan Brennan, is the big part. Uh, I'd also like you to look up the You Should Know Better comedy tour, which I'm bringing to legions all across Ontario uh, this year and next. And thank you very much, guys. I've really enjoyed this. Thanks for. Thank you. Bop, bop.